Hello, my name is Robert Walutis, and today I want to uh, do a technique peek on mobilization of the scapegoid to uh, increase wrist extension and decrease pain. A lot of times when I have a patient that's been immobilized for a while through the wrist, when we bring them into wrist extension, they always complain of this radial dorsal pain. What that typically is, is that the skateboard is not flexing completely and it's jamming up against the radius. So as we know, as the wrist extends, the scaphoid flexes. So we wanna work on clearing this and getting more mobilization here. A good way to test your own, a good way to find this, uh, this scaphoid is palpate Lister's tubercle on the radius. As you find Lister's tubercle, come, come over Tom. As you find Lister's tubercle, you slide down into the sulcus that sulcus distally is between the lunate and the scaphoid. So you wanna find Lister's tubercle, slide down, and then come over, you're on the scaphoid, okay? Now, when you're treating a patient, I like to move them, at, I like to move them into wrist extension at the same time I mobilize the scaphoid into flexion, okay? And I'll hold, and I'll grade my mobilization based on the patient's tolerance and where we are in the rehab. And then I'll come back and I'll stretch into more wrist extension. And I'll find, often I'll find that I've increased my range in wrist extension. And now I'm, they're feeling more of a bowler stretch versus a jamming on the dorsal radius. A nice way to find your own to practice this is to palpate where you think the scaphoid is and fully radial deviate your wrist and you'll feel the uh, scaphoid flex and fully ulnate and you'll feel the scaphoid uh, extend. Okay, so you can work on that on your own. Just knowing where that landmark obviously is very important in the mobilization technique. You could then slide over to the, the lunate, which also flexes in the same position as you extend the wrist. You could work on the lunate and the scaphoid within uh, the same time period and then follow with stretching. So I hope this uh, technique will help you uh, reduce the pain in the uh, radial dorsal wrist and improve uh, wrist extension. Thank you.